my colleague and good friend Diogo is going to leave the company, this guy, and I'm building him the coolest goodbye gift ever, a miniature robot. Just to give the gift some context, I should probably explain what we actually do at work. Well, currently I work in the robotics department at Okado and my team is solving the problem of packing groceries into customer bags with a robotic arm. I wish I could show you all the cool stuff that we do in the lab, but that's some top secret type she, so the public footage will have to do. Basically, we have this robotic arm, a UR10 from Universal Robotics, and it has a suction cup attached. It picks up groceries from one tote and moves it to another tote with three bags in it. That's where we come in. We then have to neatly pack these groceries into a bag so they can be directly delivered to the customer. It might sound like it should be easy, but there's a lot of nuance and variation with these groceries, which makes this pretty challenging actually. Yoga has been working on this problem for over four years as part of the pack team and i wish i could say more but there's a real risk that this video would be taken down otherwise sorry folks so let's go straight into designing this goodbye gift we wanted to design something fun 3d printable shouldn't occupy too much space that you can put on your desk and it should remind them of work so everybody chipped in with some ideas and one thing we all agreed on the ur10 with a suction cup attached so first i thought let's just keep it simple a static 3d printed robot miniature that you can place on your desk that's a decent start right looks fun but then something in me just took over and i thought let's just go full out on this and i might just get a video out of it and here we are so why not make this robot actually move well if we include motors and we're actually building a robotic arm, so that's maybe a bit overkill. But it would be pretty cool to be able to move these joints by hand. The thing is, at that size, the 3D parts become kind of flimsy and they would probably break. And then the gift will just end up in the trash at some point. Mm -mm, that's not what we want. We need to make it durable. I mean, we want to remind him of his work forever. <laughs> I mean, he's leaving, so he might not actually want to be reminded of that. But... We're in way too deep now. On a side note, I have a bunch of ideas that I never actually end up picking up. Consequence is that I end up collecting a bunch of these electronics and other materials that I never really get to use. Let's be hoarding out here. Anyway, sometimes I get lucky and I get to use some of the stuff that I already bought for some new projects. And turns out I had a sufficient collection of magnets that I usually just keep stuck on my metallic workbench. Yeah, boy. <laughs> But I finally get to use them now. So I cut the robot at the joint sections and put some holes in it that can perfectly fit the magnets. So I got this prototype printed out and glued the magnets inside. That was like not a good idea. Had to be careful that the orientations match, otherwise, you know, they would repel each other. That would be kind of dumb, like, who would do that? I sure didn't. <laughs> How cool is that? Now that's so fun. That that should definitely remind him of work. But I wasn't done yet. So remember, we actually make this robot pack groceries into three bags and a tote. So I modeled this workstation where he could actually place the robot on top. Also put a magnet at the bottom of the base so the robot can actually stay stuck to it. And as a little detail, I engraved Pac-Man on this tote. Because we're the pack team. Get it? And now for the final piece of the puzzle. We got the robot, we got some bags to put things into. Now we just need some things that we can actually put in these bags. So this is kind of an inside joke, but for testing, we often use these big ass tea boxes. So I just printed a bunch of cubes and rectangular cubes. What do you call these? Cuboids, really? Okay, greatest use of modern technology. And I engraved the letters for T on it. Okay, so I'm not sure if you noticed, but the suction cup isn't real. <laughs> So how is it gonna actually vacuum up these boxes? So I just found out about this feature, but you can pause the 3D print in the middle of it. So I used that. I left a hollow shape in these boxes to fit more magnets. That worked pretty well. The magnets are even attracted to the print bed, so it held in place even better. Now, with the magnet in place, I just glued another little magnet to the end of the suction cup. And now it's time for a little test. So happy with how that turned out. Now I wanted to make this a little bit more challenging so it's actually fun. So I printed out more of these cuboids and of course they all have magnets. And you get a magnet. And you get a magnet. Oh fucking hell. Yeah, I, I should have given it some space. So about that magnet thing in the box is working well, I kind of didn't think it through. Can you guess what could go wrong? Now the groceries are not only attracted to the magnet at the suction cup, but also 
to themselves. Well, I did say I want to make this challenging. In hindsight, I could have just used some pieces of metal. But hey, magnets is all I had, so it will have to do. Let's hope he likes it. Yo, it's about 6.30 a.m. Gym time. Fucking trying to shine a light in my face just for good lighting. Influencer life. Today is also Yogo's last day, so let's hope he likes the gift. Maybe he even cries. Scott, done with the gym. Just need to buy like a gift bag now. Gonna be stuck here. Jesus Christ. Let's see if I find something. You got something special for someone who's leaving a company. Oh, right. <laughs> we have very specific gift cards here. Sorry, not even cards are here. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's cute. 99p. That's it. It's your day. I could just try it. It's your last day. Get pink though. Mm. Ah, perfect. Awesome stuff for you inside. That's it. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you. T minus, what, 30 minutes till we give him the gift? I'm filming you, Jogo. <laughs> the battery is almost out, so I need to be quick. As a. Thank you for uh, all your hard work and contributions along these four years at PAC. We asked everybody to chip in with some ideas for a goodbye gift. We built something little for you and uh, we hope you like it. The bag got a bit muffled up and I think you will have to arrange it, but uh, take a peek. <laughs> It has three bags, you know. It has dreams. And we have enough skews to fill the tote. You get all the problems of a regular. No worries, Jogo. You'll never forget your work at Okado and all the problems that we had alongside it. It all turned out nicely. I'm really sad that he's leaving though. I learned a lot from him. Jogo, best of luck on your new endeavors. We'll miss ya. This year my goal is to learn as much about robotics as I can. So I might switch it up from full project videos to something that's a little bit more step by step so you can follow me on this journey, which should be a fun one. Peace out and I see you in the next one.